Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to, back to another keyword research tutorial. In my last tutorial, if you haven't seen it, I'll put in the link uh, in the description below, a link down there. I did a keyword tutorial on AdSense. And this one we're gonna be focusing on keywords for Amazon and I'm actually working on an Amazon website at the moment. I'll just show you it here. Um, it's a cannabis website that I've just been working on and I'm gonna be using cannabis related keywords because that's what I've been working on lately. So we'll do that and I'll show you exactly how I've been doing it. Now the first thing you wanna do, and uh, this is the important part, is you wanna find something on Amazon to sell obviously. So I've gone with cannabis, uh, bongs, uh, you know, uh, weed smoking pipes, herb grinders and stuff like that uh, because this is what my site's about and this is what I'm going to be uh, selling. So once you've found your uh, niche on Amazon, I'm not really going to go into that uh, right now because this is more of a keyword research uh, tutorial, but once you've found your niche, you want a keyword research tool. Now I use a tool called Longtail Pro and I tell you what, this is by far the best tool you can get. You can pretty much do everything you need to do inside this tool, uh, check the competition of the keywords, uh, your search volume, your suggested bids if you're doing AdSense, uh, your advertiser competition and all that good stuff. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well and you can get a 10 day trial if you wanna try it out. So with this one, I've gone with, uh, what you do is once you've got your keyword Longtail Pro, you wanna start a new project. So I've done Weed here, uh, United States and Create Project. And then you just wanna to go to find keywords. Uh, add your seed keywords. Now with Amazon, you need to use a buyer keywords and buyer keywords are keywords where people uh, have the intention to buy something. So if you see here, I've done bongs for sale, glass pipes for sale, bong reviews, bong discount, and my other keywords here, that that's nothing. And you just simply wanna put in them in here. So you'll put bong review. I will just do it really quick. Uh, we'll put bong I'll put bongs review because it'll come up twice and then you just click add and you keep doing that and you can do that up to 10 keywords and you just click generate keywords and I've, I've done this already to speed up the uh, process now once you've found so as you can see here I've got I've already done some uh, analyzing here and my keyword competition is 16 20 and 26 now with the for Amazon, you don't need to worry about suggested bid unless you want to add AdSense into your Amazon store as well. And you don't really need to worry about advertiser competition. All we're worried about here is the local searches and the uh, keyword competition and just a few other stats that we're going to be looking at in this tutorial. So as you can see here, there's lots of really juicy keywords. We've got cool bongs for sale, gas mask bongs for sale, weed bongs for sale. And these are the words we want. Sale, 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 cheap, sale, um, bongs for sale online. There's actually so much here that, that I can choose from for my website. Now keyword uh, volume doesn't really matter too much, okay? I usually go, f I mean, it doesn't matter if you, because if you're building a big Amazon site, you can go for keywords out of 200, 260. If you're building an Amazon site with, with, site with just a few pages, you wanna go for something that's got higher search volume. So it just really depends on what you're trying to achieve with your Amazon website. For this tutorial, we're gonna be going with bongs for cheap as 4,000 local searches. Uh, you don't need to worry about any of this stuff here or any of this stuff here, unless you wanna add AdSense to your website. It has a keyword competition of 16, which is really, really low. And if you just click on here, one thing I always look for is how the titles are done. So this title here doesn't really have anything in there, um, bongs for cheap, so it's not really optimized that well at all. This one is kind of optimized, cheap bongs, buy cheap bongs, and then bongs again. So this is quite well optimized, but it would be better if I had it at the front. Buy cheap bongs, this is a sort of optimized, it's at the front, but then it doesn't really have anything out here. So these titles aren't optimized as well as they could be, so this is a really good sign for me. Next thing, I just wanna look at keyword competition for each site. As you can see, it's really, really low, and then you've just got all your stuff like page rank, site age, and stuff like that, but I don't really look at this, I do all my work manually. So I've picked a keyword, bongs for cheap. Simple, easy keyword. Now the next thing you wanna do is you simply just wanna check the top 10. So I'm gonna assume that you've done all your searches here, you've searched your keyword, you've found your keyword, and if you just look through, you know, you've got so many keyword options here for this keyword that I've been looking for, bongs for sale, glass pipes for sale, just all sorts of keywords here, and it's just crazy. 
and I'm and Longtail Pro just brings them all up. So eight, there's 1,665 keywords I've got to choose from. Most of them are pretty good search volume. And you want to make sure you, I, I, I want to stress this again. You want to use buyer keywords, so words like cheap, discount, um, cheap bongs online is another good one. Uh, just you know, even secondhand is a good uh, keyword, even though you're not selling secondhand products because people are still interested in buying the product. You know, it just buyer keywords, keywords where people have the intention to buy a product. I, I mean, you don't want to um, make an Amazon store for bongs or here you know here bubbler pipe because bubbler pipe doesn't really that's just too broad of a keyword it doesn't necessarily mean people are going to be buying um the product now this is a good one here water bongs for sale cheap because it's a long tail keyword and it's only got 260 uh search volume but if you've got a big website and you just want to throw up another page or throw up another product this is a really good keyword that you can go for so we're going to go bongs for cheap and now we're going to go and have a look at the backlinks to see if we can outrank some of the sites on page 10. Uh, sorry, page 1 uh, in the top 10, I was, I was trying to say. Right, so I've just converted to Windows so I can use my, one of my backlink programs. So I've searched for bongs for cheap in the Google here. Now the top 10 is dominated by uh, shops okay and a lot of people get turned away by this but shops are some of the most easiest websites to outrank because they don't even bother about search engine optimization or optimizing the pages or they have really thin content or and, and stuff like that and people don't even bother because they think they can't outrank them well you can outrank them it's super easy to outrank outrank these guys you just got to have more content better search engine optimization and better on-page optimization i mean if you look at some of these websites like let's just look at this one here Maybe this one here. Just a few random ones here. You know, there's not much optimization. There's a bit of words, some words here and stuff like that. You've got some words on the side. But this is all about selling products. This isn't about, um, you know, this isn't, this, these sites aren't about ranking. So they don't really have ranking intentions. They're just, you know, there to sell products. Um, unless they pay someone to do it for them, which I doubt a lot of them. I mean, some of them might, but some of them don't even bother. Then you've got this one as well, which has absolutely no content, just some content up here. I mean, this would be super easy to outrank depending on the uh, keywords he has. This one has the same website, probably a different different uh, category here. Water bongs, he's got some content here, which will help him rank, but it's not much. And just the same type of stuff here, pictures and all of that stuff. So what do you do now? Well, if you like the top 10 here and you think, well, I could probably give this a go, you simply just want to copy some of these links into your um, backlink finder and I'm you know I suggest you do it to all top 10 because then you kind of know where you stand so this one here I think I've already done a search and I did exact URL so it's going to search just for this URL not the actual um, domain so here it's got no backlinks at all for this page right here so this page right here which I think is this one here has no backlinks whatsoever, so I could probably outrank this page. The next one I might check is this one here. Let's just have a look at this one. And I'm using this program here, and I, you don't want to have it on domain, you want to have it on exact URL, so it'll get the uh, backlinks from this URL only, nothing else. And we've got 57 backlinks here. You just want to have a look at them, make sure there's you know what they've got see they've only got um links coming back from their blog which is really good because it doesn't really come from any other sites and then we've got what else have we got here we've got some chinese stuff here so this could be done could be flagged as spam this will be easy to outrank as well because they've only got uh, links from their own blog so so that's super easy to outrank as well and that's all you've got to do you've just got to find those buyer keywords you've got to check out the top 10 and don't be fooled by people saying you can't outrank uh, shops and stuff you can i do it all the time my friends do it all the time i've got a guy that's um he's he found some product i can't remember what it was oh, i was cameras and this is actually his website here i'll just get it up for you guys to have a look this is his website here he um, he, this is one of his Amazon pages, but he has another camera website and what it does is he He found a camera in an affiliate camera and he actually outranks the people that he um, is an affiliate with and and they dominate the searches But he outranked them. So he's making lots of money 
And while we're on the uh, on this page here, see this is the kind of page you would want to do to outrank these guys here. I'll just go back into um, Windows here. I've, I'm just um, using two systems at the moment. You know, these are really, really shitty pages. I'm not going to lie. These are shitty pages. You can easily outrank these by just doing it with a simple website like this. So he's selling a camera lens. Uh, he's got all, uh, I don't know, this is probably like, let's just say, uh, four, five hundred word, six hundred word article. And he's got his stuff here for Amazon. That's it. So a simple page like this with some search engine optimization, some backlinks will easily, easily outrank any of those pages over here but you know weed version what the other one's a camera version and that's it so let's just recap here I, mean, I don't like to drag my videos on I like to get straight to the point it's pretty simple you just want to find uh, find some buyer keywords search them search the competition and see what um, you know just use this as a guideline this isn't really something you should be using you know don't just think 16 cool I'm gonna go rank for that you want to go uh, check all these have a look at the titles make sure they're not uh, too optimized then you simply just want to go to the top 10, search for the top 10, and check the backlinks for every single one. And you'll be surprised at what you find because I tell you what, some, like this is a gem. I'm going to be ranking one of my articles in this for my website, Sticky Greens Dope Shop. I'm going to um, start a blog for this website. This is a big, uh, this is a big uh, Amazon store that I started and I've been I'm selling a lot of products on Tumblr. And it's just a bit slow at the moment because I've been having issues with it. But once I get my blog started, I'm, I'm going to be outranking these guys in no time. Because if you just you know look at look at these, they're all shops, but I'll be outranking these because they don't have very good backlink structures. So that's it, guys. Very simple. If you want to do um, Amazon keyword research, hit me up at onlinediamonds.com. If you've got any um, questions about this, I'm happy to help you guys out. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey, just before you leave, if you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I bring out videos every single week about affiliate marketing, making money online, ranking websites in Google, and heaps more. You can also get my free ebook on how I rank my websites in Google and outrank my competitors. It's 100% free. Just click on the ebook below this image. Feel free to also check out any of my other videos on the left over there, and I'll see you on my next video.